All right, everyone, there is a totally organic Twitter meltdown going on right now. Twitter is going to be in the dustbin of history. Google Plus is going to be revived. MySpace is coming back. People are flocking to Reddit and, you know, they're, they're good to, all of this other bullshit. Hey, we have a Facebook page still for what little it's worth. Hey, under 50 crowd, we're cool again. Let's dab on them. Um, I'm going to show you some of the currently trending in the United States uh, uh, hashes and searches on Twitter right now. And tell me if you think that these are all organically there or whether there's astroturfing going on. Because people, a fucking decade ago, they realized that Twitter had one real big weakness. If you could get enough people together to spam the same hashtag with mindless drivel, botting plays a role in this usually, Discord raids as well, Tumblr too to an extent, you can get basically anything trending. Now it may get pruned because the organic process has to be restored. You can't simply clutter up the entire front page of Twitter with whatever the lynch mob wants to talk about at a time. Again, that sort of algorithmic hijacking has been literally studied. Um, so it, it, it's a temporary attack. When you see something like this, though, where it's basically everything on the front page, you can be assured that it's not, at least not entirely organic. So, trending right now, and you'll notice there are a couple of odd men out here. Black Twitter, Reddit, you know, ostensibly kind of a Twitter competitor. Medi, who I think that's a politician. Trump for six, and I don't know what that refers to. Damn Twitter, hashtag Twitter takeover, 44 billion, a, a reference to how much Elon Musk paid for Twitter. Hunter Biden, I wonder if that one uh, should be higher considering how many people are actually tweeting about it compared to most of these others. We'll get past that for a moment. Fired. Now, of course, he is he is fired uh, part of his Twitter verification team now without Twitter hashtag butts. I don't know why that's trending and I'm not going to click on it to find out. And then so Twitter also rip Twitter is trending. It's not here on my uh, my image host, but uh, it basically most of the top trending stories on Twitter. The, the irony is that you're talking about Twitter dying and you're hashtagging it on Twitter. Um, to be clear, 99% of these people are too outrage addicted to ever leave the site. Um, Twitter and other big tech firms typically can get away with more than maybe smaller competitors with less engagement because people like a good dumpster fire. Elon Musk is actually restoring the proper function of a social media site and the left is frenetic about it because for years and years they were nudging it in a more and more censored direction. They were doing to it like what they did to Google+, Plus, which of course is probably not going to do well if actually revived. Um, they've crippled Facebook this way. Uh, they still rant about these sites and their founders having right-wing leanings. And I can only suspect that this is coming from people who think that Tumblr could use a little bit more political balance because there are too many goddamn right-wing pages on it. Uh, for what little Tumblr's worth as well. Of course, they brought back porn recently. That'll help them out since it was at some point the only reason that uh, the site fucking existed. They took it down for legal reasons. I guess they smelled blood in the water. And to be clear, and this comes immediately in the wake of another story. It's uh, Twitter related. We talked about it literally the other day. Hillary Clinton's groups have moved in to try to put, do a pressure campaign against Twitter advertisers. This is not organic. This is a multi-pronged attack on Twitter by people who have left-wing views and they want to control the conversation. They claim that it's for progress. They claim that it's to stop hate and things like that. That will never happen. Now, you're not going to change people's opinions in any organic fashion uh, by censoring them. What it's for is corporations and for the uniparty system. That's all it's been about on any of these other sites, too. Once they got big enough, they started buying into the political process and they sold their soul like Faust. That's how big tech ended up corrupting itself. The political system was more than willing to be very, very kind and amenable to them and grant them effective monopolistic status in some cases. <clears throat> Apple Google duopoly over the App Store um, and overlook its own laws uh, and and meddle with the Constitution at multiple levels. Uh, the government has been implicated in literally pressuring these tech sites to censor people for lawful speech in the United States, thus violating the First Amendment. Technically, the Fourth Amendment, too. I guess they're spying on what people say on social media on a level that we didn't know before, although some of us speculated that it was more advanced than they let on initially with Echelon and things like that. This isn't organic. This is called algorithmic hijacking. 
algorithmic rather. Um, BreadTube is known to do this. They even have a little bit of a blurb or did on Wikipedia, of course. Their era has begun to end, it seems, as well. Um, it works. Uh, there's a reason why people do this. It's been done, by the way, by right-wingers as well. Um, Twitter is the easiest to do this on. Other sites are they're much more locked down with regards to what ends up trending or getting recommended on their sites. Google's probably the best example of controlling this narrative very successfully through their priority system. Well, we know that Jimmy Fallon's not going to uh, tell a body joke like Dave Chappelle, so which one do you think you find first in the comedy section? Jimmy Fallon. There's a reason for that. When you look for news, uh, CNN is definitely trusted. By the way, so is Fox. But a commentator like me? Yeah, you're on page three, and that's on a good day. This is a bunch of leftoids attempting to convince the Twitter user base that Twitter is going to collapse. Well, Elon Musk said the company might file for bankruptcy, as though that has any meaningful impact, by the way, on Twitter's day-to-day -day operations. Elon Musk is starving his own employees by not giving them free lunches anymore. Yeah, when the average salary at Twitter is about 200k a year. Now, yeah, they're, they're hurting for certain. Okay, move back in with your suite mate then, save on half of that high San Francisco rent, and you'll have no problem getting your avocado toast. Yeah, you'll have someone to talk to other than your three cats. Isn't that great? When you're updating your Tumblr page, you can barrage your suite mate endlessly with witty quips about how evil Donald Trump is or something like that. It'll be a communal experience. That's what you people want, isn't it? So yeah, Twitter is suffering a meltdown, but it's being caused inorganically. It's uh, with people whipping each other up into a frenzy at some point, too. Again, the dumpster, what happens is you, uh, you come in and you astroturf and you light a fire. Then people say, wow, cool, a bonfire, and then they start piling shit into the flames, and eventually it burns itself down because it gets too big and people start wandering off. They have to go to work in the morning, unless they're pink-haired leftoids, then they rig up their next astroturfing campaign. Just to be clear, you're seeing shenanigans at the moment. The irony being Elon Musk hasn't made any meaningful change to Twitter with regards to anything other than firing some employees, taking away their free lunches, and instituting a new verification system that pissed off a bunch of blue check marks because they're no longer special anymore. I'm so sorry, Stephen King. I'm so sorry, Hillary Clinton, that the, again, entirely astroturfed relevancy and trustworthiness that Twitter granted upon you is being watered down by a bunch of plebeians getting blue check marks. How very sad for you it must be. That's about all. Peace out.